Hi, so there are lots of ways you can sequence your desktop or your rack synths from Ableton, but today I'm going to show you how you can use a MIDI pitch quantizer in Max for Live to create interesting melodic sequences quickly and easily. So what in the world is a MIDI pitch quantizer and why do I need one, you might be asking. A pitch quantizer is a device often used in Eurorack setups that allows you to turn on or off certain notes from a sequencer so that they stay within a key. The easiest way to explain this is just to see it in action. So to start, I'm going to drop in a tried and true mono sequencer Max for Live device and I'll use, use it to sequence a Moog Siren that I have sitting on my desktop. Uh, you can see the layout of the, the Moog Siren here in the software interface. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag in the mono sequencer. And as I do, I'm going to set all the settings to random. So random pitch, random velocity, random octave, and random duration. Boom sequence. Interesting, but perhaps a little bit too random. So now I'm going to drop in the MIDI pitch quantizer right after the sequencer. And really quickly I can see which notes are being played, and I can decide which ones I want to turn off. So I'm going to turn off this B and the C sharp. Not bad. I'm going to explore a little bit and try and move things around a bit. So what's happening here? Every time a note that's being played that's turned off, a note's being rerouted to the next closest note that's turned on. So really quickly you can turn things on and off and you can play around with the sequence to try new phrases. Now I know you can just also adjust the keys and the notes within the mono sequencer, changing the, the scale that it's quantized to, but to be honest, I've always found that a little bit tedious, and for me this device is a faster, easier way to get a sequence into shape so that I can spend more time making music and less time tweaking the settings. And that's it. Really quickly you can create some uh, musical ideas that are interesting and melodic um, and use it to drive your desktop or your rec synth from Ableton. This device is free, and you can download it in the link from the description. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy.